Hi guys. We want to learn a little bit about MoTeC and dealing with telemetry. Now this video is going to be the first of a few which will deal with that very subject. Initially, we just look at how we can use the traces to do a comparison against um, lap times so we can work out where we're losing time within our lap. Say we've purchased a setup or we've set our car up and we see what changes make what differences where. But this video is about very subject. First of all, we need to get MoTeC installed. So let's do a search for MoTeC i2 Pro, which is the software we're looking for, which is the data analysis MoTeC software. From here, we can see we've got the right data analysis point and we want to install this particular version, this file, or maybe the other one, depending on whether we're using a 32-bit or 64-bit OS. There we go. And we run it. This is the installer. And then we effectively just accept the defaults for that. You can change the installation path if you wish. I'm not going to be installing it because I already have it installed. You can see I only have the repair or remove options available. So let's cancel that and let's load up MoTeC. We don't have a workspace, but we don't want to use the workspace wizard. So let's cancel that. And let's open an existing workspace because actually we do have a workspace and it's provided to us by a set of course of competizione. So we go to our documents folder, then we go into a set of course of competizione, MoTeC, workspaces, base ACC, and we click the workspace file and then we can open it. You can see a bunch of different interesting panels here, but there's no data. So let's pop into a set of Corsa Competizione and have a look to see where we can do that. So we pop into ACC in any session, go to setup and then look at our current setup. We go to the electronics tab and then set the number of telemetry laps that we want to record. Our free laps would give you realistically one flying lap. So I usually set that to five or six laps. So we've got a few as an example. But obviously that does mean you need to do five or six laps or it doesn't get recorded. So let's pop back into MoTeC after, of course, doing a session where we drive through and um, record some laps. Navigate to your documents folder, then go to a set of course of competition, MoTeC. And here you will see all of the telemetry files that have been saved through the, the various sessions. Uh, find a ID file that you want to load up, double click it, and that will load into MoTeC. This particular example doesn't have any flying laps, so uh, it doesn't really have any data. So let's load up a better example, shall we? You can see this one has some data. Okay, so that's the basics of um, getting MoTeC installed. Let's have a look at analyzing that data now. So here we are back in MoTeC. Now we're going to load log files. And we just navigate back to our documents folder in a set of course of Competizione MoTeC. And we see a large list of files because I've been recording data for a while. We're going to load up in this particular example a trace from. Sandvort. And here you can just see one lap's worth of data. Across the top, you can see that we've logged actually five laps of data here. We switched to the track report screen and we can still see the number of laps we have across the top, but we can also now see uh, the speed we were doing through certain parts of the track. So we can see that we were in certain gears and we have the minimum um, apex speed and we also have max speed on the straights. If we go back to the data analysis screen we can see the point that we were at at the breaking point that we highlighted in the track. So right now we're only seeing one trace of data but let's say we want to do a comparison against other you know laps that we've done or maybe we've purchased some setups that come with uh, MoTeC data. So 
let's navigate to the setups folder in Assetto Corsa Competizione and load up Zandvoort for uh, the setup that I've extracted from Coach Dave. And you can see here that we have a track lap comparison against my data, but let's then compare it. We switch back to uh, my lap being the primary and then the Coach Dave lap being the overlay. Once we do that, we can go back to the comparison screen and we can see where I'm losing the most time in terms of speed. So if we have a look at that white line, you can see there are some big gaps between that and the, the green line. And they are where uh, the, the more professional driver is able to carry a great deal more speed than I am. And the further away that gap is, the more time you can find. That gives you a very good um, idea of where you can find more time within a track. So if we have a look at that on the track map, we can see so that is actually coming into that quite fast right hand corner. And then again, we lose some speed here where I'm braking too hard. So we can try and replicate that behavior in our practice sessions. And then we can make sure that we record that telemetry to see you know, if we are getting closer to it. You can overlay more than one lap in MoTeC, but it doesn't really show in certain views. So it's sometimes best just to do a two lap comparison. So there you have it. We've covered the basics of installing MoTeC software for uh, data analysis, and then loaded up some telemetry files that we've stored in game, showing you how to store those telemetry files in VCC. And then we've run through quickly on a track report and comparing it against other telemetry files. So hopefully that's given you some food for thought and we can build on that for the next video in the series. Goodbye for now.